everybody, it's Elena. It's been quite a long time since I've shared the project with you and uh, um, I was busy, really busy making my first little doily book and uh, it's been a challenge for me because it was out of my comfort zone as uh, both for the colors I've used, there are many many colors and uh, um, the theme of the book which is very romantic very girly and usually i'm not in that kind of stuff but anyway i wanted to give it a try uh, and uh, first of all i want to thank all the, the awesome crafters who, who taught me actually through their videos uh, how to decorate the single pages and uh, i named them as their names come into my mind and they are Wendy, whose channel is Lolly Dolly Crafts, and uh, uh, Fiona Jennings 644, uh, Jean Rugg, and Maggie White. I will link their channels down below. So, this is my little fabric book, uh, sorry, doily book. I've used the doilies, vintage doilies I bought from Fiona, some doilies I made, and some crochet pieces I made especially for this book. And at a certain point, as I was choosing the color for the yarns to crochet these pieces, I realized that being deeply influenced and inspired by a video by Janine, whose channel is uh, uh, Vintage Shabby Chic. It was a video showing three projects she made with the lovely images of teddy bears and uh, light colors to match the images. And uh, yes, I realized that I was really affected in the best possible way by that video, uh, but I used images of bunnies instead, and uh, one, image is, uh, is, uh, one image is of mice. But don't worry, if, uh, even if you are afraid of mice, this is very, very lovely. So first of all, uh, this is the cover of the book and uh, at first I decided to make a title, just a printed title, but I didn't like how it turned out, so I chose an image instead and uh, you can see the title, it is Book of Love because every image I found on Pinterest are, is about a different kind of love. The first one, as you can see, is the love between a granddad and his, and his grandson and they're taking a stroll and I love this one, look, the, the old one, the young one, it's really beautiful and uh, I used the color to match the images, I alternated the pages, the, a bright or colorful one, a darker one, because I didn't want two different sections, one with, uh, with bright colors or pale colors and another one with dark colors. It wouldn't be, he wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been nice at all. So, uh, there are many, many details. I won't go through every single one of them or else it would be super boring. I will just mention some interesting, interesting details. And, uh, uh, for example, for the first page, I want to mention this um, organza rosette and it was white, I wanted it green and I decided to spray it with cosmic, cosmic shimmers I bought from Fiona, I've used here a, a lime green and then I sprayed some teal they blended together and they formed these wonderful colors creating the a lighter and darker spots then, uh, well, as you can see I lined uh, um, I, I'm, how can I say, not lined I uh, layered some pieces I made and some doilies underneath and trims and uh, uh, I tried my best not to hide anything because uh, I layered many things, I didn't want anything to be hidden and you can see what I used here and there. Then the second page, I won't show them in pair because it would be really confusing so I will show them turning the pages. This one is about motherly love. As you can see, there's this sweet mother with her with her child. 
and they had a picnic basket, they are in a field and what I love about this image is their happy faces, look how happy they are because they are together and the colors here are very light because I matched the image and um, I added some dangle curls and uh, crochet pieces and trims and I want just to mention, to mention two flowers the two ones here, the very pale green and unfortunately I didn't find the yarn of this color and I didn't want to use Cosmic Shimmer either because the color is much more intense so I decided to cut two pieces of a white doily made and dip them in mint syrup of course mint syrup is uh, very sugary so the flowers are stiff but in this case it doesn't matter because they have to stay flat so even though they are not as soft as uh, the other doilies it doesn't matter at all then I've used a um, beautiful uh, butterfly with dangles and uh, this is the page about mother love here we have a darker page because the scene is at, uh, is at night it is uh, uh, the love between a couple and there's one uh, stunning detail here there's a little minstrel sitting on a branch of the tree and he's playing violin and uh, I suppose serenading the couple and again I match the colors using for example Okay, this purple flower with dangles to match the color of the dress, of the girl's dress and uh, as the scene is at night there are many browns and dark uh, green I used this applique and then I added here and there beads and uh, flat back pearls and raisin flowers and this bling, also bling on the girl and uh, all the tiny tiny blings come from my collection uh, that I, I, I used on my nails when I used to do my own nail art and uh, uh, another piece, an, an interesting piece is this one, this butterfly I lined it um, with um, gel tacky glue and I just dipped it in um, glitter and, sh and shook away the, um, the excess of glitter so they stayed just here when the, where the, uh, the glue was and uh, also I added some peach some bright peach trim to match the, um, the cobblestones here then we have a pocket page this is a heart I crocheted let me turn it okay this is a heart it is the page the heart is the page I lined the fabric I used to put the pages together with this see-through uh, pink lace and uh, I just lined the heart the hem of the, the the perimeter of the heart with this flat back purse I finished it the, the top of the heart with these pieces of crochet of, sorry a crochet trim yes and uh, you can see this piece on the bottom as well and I added a little rhinestone this awesome bling I created this flower using three sets of petals they are paper flowers and added um, some resin roses here and here and then we have the page about sister the, about the love between sisters and I assume they are sisters well that's what I imagine and they are in their gar in, the, in a garden next to their houses and they are laughing and uh, they are full, the, the image is very colorful as in summer or late spring they have baskets of flowers and I've used colors to match the dresses and the aprons of the girls this is well they are ladies but we're all girls so I call them girls I, I've used this purple trim and uh, okay and uh, I crochet these pieces uh, this yellow piece added some yellow trim and pearls and color, color from flat back pearls sorry this is one of my cat he's just arrived he's saying hi 
and uh, I cut a doily made in pink, added this another butterfly and this is it for this page and then we have this one which is my favorite page because it is about a kind of love it's uh, less mentioned than motherly love usually and it is the love of, uh, of a dad for his child look how beautiful they are they are mice like i said they're sweet they're not scary and uh, the dad is sitting on the little one bed of the little one's bed and they're reading together um a book and uh, it is night and uh, i think the father is trying to put the little one to sleep but he's reading and leaning against the father this is a sweet such a sweet image and uh, i just added here on the image well a little flat back pearl and this one it is um a tiny rhinestone a tiny sorry resin um little bead it is so faceted then it makes uh, uh, sparkly colors and it was the flame of the, the lamp and uh, the color matches the images once again the image is dark it's at night and so I used uh, uh, some leaves um, in brown colors this uh, light this uh, sorry intense gold piece uh, it was I cut it off an applique and uh, a shabby flower with um, a brown little crystal and also a touch of burgundy and uh, I colored this lace using a green marker I colored just here and here and leave uh, and left the rest white and uh, just another detail this gorgeous trim the colored one matches the comforter of the on the bed and then the other page is about the love between friends i see these two beautiful bunnies in a field the image is so peaceful and uh, they are chatting possibly gossiping a bit and they are having tea with a, at their little table you see and uh, i've used uh, this beautiful um again they are i bought them in uh, these flowers in purple and uh, mint green and also um what's that in pink but I, I didn't use the pink ones here and then i made this um leaf leaf sorry and uh, i added this this is a part of um of a trim I made all the the colors matching this because she has um, oh sorry I'm out of camera she has a, a pink dress so I added some pink some blinks uh, and the yellow for the other dress and then I made uh, a little a tiny rolled crochet rose this one you see here the end of this piece and I find crocheting very, very relaxing. So I try to make also things different than doilies. And this is the page of the love between friends. And this is the last page. I just created a flower. I uh, alternated uh, a doily and some trim. Again, a doily and trim and gather trim, uh, a little piece I made this is a flower I made and in the center I put this awesome bling it is so colorful and it's like um, it's like it's containing almost all the colors I've used in the book and then there's just uh, uh, we go, we come to the part which was the the harder for me to do because uh, each page is made by two layers of fabric so I wanted to bind the book using a technique uh, shown by Maggie White which was inserting 
between the two layers forming the page some pieces of felt so they created a spine and the spine could be hidden with the beautiful trims. But uh, I realized I haven't been wise enough not to put too much lace and trims on this part. And uh, uh, at a certain point I didn't know how to put the book together, so uh, I made a post on the Facebook group Glue Gun Chronicles, which I recently joined, asking for help and for tips, because I wanted to finish this book, I didn't know how, and uh, I want to thank a lot all the lovely ladies, girls, who gave me tips and I ended up mixing some tips together and then I show you what I made and uh, especially I want to thank Crystal, Crystal Gill because she um, wrote uh, and she taught me actually that a glue gun can be used to unglue things too. You melt actually the glue that's already that's keeping already keeping some trims and, uh, and things in place. So I tried to unglue the two layers of fabric uh, forming the page, but unfortunately uh, it was impossible to achieve the result I wanted because again there was already all these parts and uh, each piece of felt should have been at least like that, not to squash everything. So I had to give up the idea and uh, as I didn't have any uh, metal ring I cut pieces of seam binding. You can see them here for example but they are a discreet color, they are just uh, cream so I think they, they're not so relevant among all the colors and stuff on, on the pages. So. I formed, I cut a pieces, I cut pieces, four pieces of seam binding and uh, I loop them through each page looking for the spot with the holes like, uh, such as doilies and here I, sit, I did the same for all the four pieces to here to on the bottom and uh, I tied them with a knot, with two knots just to secure them and in order to hide the knots, I just added two buttons, one here, one on the other side, so they are pretty and you don't see the knots of the seam binding. So this is the book, I hope you like it and uh, I ho also hope the person I will send it to will like it as well and I thank you very very much for watching and wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye!